I'm Malika and uh, I'm a radio presenter and I've lived in Dubai for the last, what is it, nine years now. And I, when I moved to Dubai, I kind of put on the Dubai stone, you know, I put, it, put on an easy 10 kilos post-marriage and all that. I came here and ate my heart out and then I realized, okay, it's about time I start trimming the fat. So that's when it all started and then a couple of years down the line, I met the team at Elevation Fitness. I think it's been two years now since I've been working at Elevation and it's been an incredibly fun journey. I think more than anything else, I've had so much of fun in elevation because I work out with my friend, colleague, uh, well, the better half of our on-air and off-air relationships with Adora, and that's been the best part of uh, my time in elevation. So we've discovered a whole bunch of things, everything from circuit to weight training to Pilates to uh, functional movement, I think that's what it's called, and it's really been amazing and it helps me kind of stay on track to know that this gym kind of feels like home, you know. So about what inspired me to start getting fit, uh, it really was this, it started with weight loss, okay. I honestly was sick and tired of looking at myself in the mirror and saying, if only I was thinner and if only I was skinnier and if only I had leaner this and meaner that. So that's where it got me started but after a point the fitness journey stopped being so much about the inches and the kilos and it started being about having the energy at the end of the day. I have a very very demanding schedule, I mean we do because the radio station does so much, we have to wake up at 4.30, be in the studio by 5.30, we've got long long days, events and places to go and interviews to do and celebs to you know, revolve our life schedules around. So it's a lot, it's a lot. And sometimes at the end of the day, I just don't want to be tired. I just don't want to be exhausted. So I think fitness has helped me kind of keep my energy up. It's kept me going, it's kind of kept me focused. It's taught me how to be just consistent with, not just this as a life goal, but other things as well. And more than anything else, I'm now working out, not because I want to look skinnier or look better in photographs, but I'm now working out because I want to be able to do the things that I'm doing now, 10 years from now. And I don't want to have to change my lifestyle. I want to be healthy when I'm 95 and like, you know, be able to do the things that I love without worrying that I'm too tired. Or that so do follow my journey if your, any part of your story matches mine. So if you've been struggling with this whole thing of, yeah, I really need to get back in shape. And if you're just looking to see how the whole thing pans out and what keeps me inspired and what keeps us inspired, then stay locked onto the fitness journey and you'll know how the everyday progress is. And I promise you, I will be honest with you. The days I don't come to the gym, the days I bump, I will tell you that I bump. So the days that I cheat, when my cheat meals extend into cheat, into cheat weekends, then I'll tell you that as well. And uh, yeah, so follow the journey to see just how this combination of eating a little healthy, maintaining my lifestyle, balancing work, a little bit of yoga, a little bit of working out, how does that all fit in? Just follow the journey and you'll find it. So I'm setting an extremely ambitious fitness goal for the year 2017. Next year by this time I want to say that 52 out of 52 weeks I have worked out at least 4 days of the week. I think that's realistic and ambitious at the same time. Let's see how this goes. So follow my journey and you can keep track. Hi, I'm Sid and uh, short form for Siddharth Bora. I work for City 1016 which is uh, a huge, huge, one of the biggest Bollywood stations actually the biggest Bollywood station here in the UAE. Now, um, the reason that uh, I chose a fitter lifestyle is very, very simple. I chose it for just me. Now, I work for my family, my kids, my wife, my parents. I do everything for them. But uh, this particular thing I started off about, I think, two years back when I was actually climbing some stairs and I could literally feel my bum paining, the joints Paining. My heels and my knees literally were paining and that was just the Dubai effect because honestly six years in, in Dubai and I had not climbed stairs. Trust me on that when I say that. Yeah, there are escalators here, there are lifts here, there are travelators here but you tend to lose out on the fact that uh, this is all getting to you. So just to make myself fit up, just to make us, just to make sure that uh, I do this for me. I started off with this journey. Uh, 
the ultimate goal is well you know a pole and i want to do the flag pole that's the ultimate aim. but during this ultimate goal my lifestyle and uh, yeah the journey what all do i accomplish follow me and uh, i have kids i got events that i need to host i need to look good and i need to make sure that i have all the energy that i need for doing all of this so how do i get it just by coming to this particular gym i love it here it's like second home and this is my one place which is total stress buster for me elevation fitness these are the guys who make me what i am today and a big 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 thank you to you okay so now you know okay, uh, what all our goals are and why you should be following my journey basically why you should be following my journey not her journey my journey if you wake up early morning and if you sleep late at night you've got kids my journey